Hello everybody, it's me Ellie from Express Themes and today in this video tutorial of Express Store I'm gonna show you how you can assign two different sections that is one in this header section with this phone number and email address how you can have the same exact uh, kind of a thing on your website too and the next thing I'm gonna show you is how you are gonna configure this section which is basically a call to action with the video section so both these sections are to be configured from widgets. Let me show you how you can do that. So first log into your WordPress. Then you need to go to Appearance. Then go to Widget. Well, this is the widget area which will be configured to have the header call to box. So here you need to put text widget. put it there and click on add widget now your widget is added to header call to box you can put the title or not and here in the contents if you want the same appearance as in our demo site then you have to put the small code which uh, which I'm gonna also include in description box so you can take it from there here you need to put your phone number your phone number and here you need to put your email address well here you can put your front awesome icon to have that icon of phone and that envelope so after the, you have uh, configured your phone number and email address you click on save now that your widget area is saved let's go to our front end and see how will that appear This is the website we are working on and as you can see you can have your telephone number and your email address with the symbols that is the phone symbol and uh, email symbol. So the next thing we are going to configure is this video call to action widget area. Here you need to use two widgets. The first one is call to action widget. You can drag it and put it there. Now first put a title. Let me show you in the demo site first how it is done. Here you can see in the demo site. This section is from the call to action widget. That is with this title and this link. Which when you click will take you to YouTube or the video link. So let's put a title here. Same as in our demo. You can put a description if you want then you can put a button text after that you need to enter a font awesome class to show on the button so for that you need to go to this uh, website that is font awesome you can just uh, google it and it will come and search the kind of font uh, the kind of icon you want there you can see you can get number of icons well, let me see what kind of icon we have used here so this kind of icon is uh, used in our demo site so let us get one here it is click on it now you need to copy this one awesome icon text and put it here now you can put a button URL of uh, a YouTube video or uh, anything put it there and after this click on save now let's refresh our front end and see how will that section look with that call to action widget you can see we have a title and button text with font awesome icon so the next thing we have to put there is a video and all those details so let's do that go back to widget let's close it now for that we need to use this call to action with video widget just click it or you can just place it like this 
Now you need to put title. Well, this is the title, description and everything. So we need to do the same here. I'm going to put some dummy text. And some other dummy description. After this, you can also upload a background image to have in that section. Click on upload and uh, choose an image. I'm going to upload a file from here. You can choose any image you want to. I'm using this image as an example. Select it. And then here you need to put the video iframe. So for that, go to YouTube, go to your video and then right click on your video and copy this embedded code. After you have copied this embedded code, you need to just simply place it there. Now you can uh, configure its iframes uh, width and height from here. So I'm going to just leave it like that and you need to put a button text and a uh, button URL. I'm going to copy, simply copy the video's URL and place it there. Now click on save. Now let's again go to our front end and refresh it. Now all the changes have been saved and let me show you how it is appearing. You can see here the video the button and everything so in this way you can configure this two areas on your home page that it is call to action with video and in this header section so i hope this video is helpful to you in configuring both of this uh, configurations and if you have any confusion always refer to our online documentation or write to me below i'll reply to you as soon as possible thank you very much for watching this video thank you